everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today, we are going to be making a dice bag. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on a dice bag and we're going to use this beautiful variegated yarn. It's a four ply medium weight yarn. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and uh, yeah, let's get started. So we're going to start by crossing our yarn and we're going to chain two. Now going into that first chain, we're going to put our tail over it and we're going to do a single crochet. So you pull your yarn through, go through the two loops. So let's do it again. Into that same space, pull your yarn through, yarn over through the two loops. That is a single crochet. We're going to do a total of six. So we did one, two, three so far five and six. We are going to slip stitch into that first stitch, pull your yarn through and through the loop and we're going to chain up one. Now we're going to work <clears throat> two single crochets in every stitch. So see here, we're going to go in here, we're going to do one, and into the same stitch two. So we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. So we have a total of 12. Do that and meet me back. I just finished my 12th stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch in that first stitch and then we'll chain up one. So if you did your center right, you see how we have a bit of a hole, you can see my skin through it. If we did it right, we're going to give that tail a tug and it cinches that right up. Okay, so that's, see how there's a ridge there? That's your first round and this is your second round that we just did. Now we're going to do the third round. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because this helps you know what you have to do for each round. So for this round, we're going to work in multiples of three. So we're going to put two single crochets in that first stitch. And then the third stitch is all by itself. So you can do this two ways. You can just keep counting. So I would go four and four five in the same stitch with six on its own and since six is a multiple of three we know that in the next stitch we'll be putting two stitches and then we could go seven and eight together nine by itself or if you're really good at seeing where you started which i am because i've been doing this for years i started right here Right here I would just say I would just repeatedly count to three so one two in this stitch and then three until I got to the other side so this round is going to have 18 stitches so continue with the two in the first stitch and one in the second until you have a total of 18 stitches and meet me back actually don't meet me back because I'm there here we go. And you can always double check your work by counting your stitches. I have been crocheting for years and years and years and I still count my stitches. So then we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. We're always ignoring the chain one as it's not counted as a stitch. So now if you look here, it's a bit harder to see because we're using variegated yarn, but we have one ridge and then we have two ridges and now we just made the third. So we're on our fourth, multiples of fourth, we're doing four rounds, okay? Or this is 
our fourth round. So two in the first stitch, one on its own, and the next stitch is one on its own. So you would have counted to four. So then you could go five and six together, seven on its own, and eight on its own. Since you're at eight, which is a multiple of four, you know that you have to do two in the next stitch. So nine and 10 go into that stitch. 11 is on its own. 12 is on its own. <clears throat> 12 is a multiple of four. So you would go 13, 14 in the next stitch. 15 is on its own, 16 is on its own. Do this until you get to 24 stitches and then meet me back. I'm at 24, I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch and then chain up one. So now, if you're looking at your work, you've got one ridge here, you've got two ridges, three ridges, we just did a fourth, so now we're working in multiples of five because we're on our fifth round. So that means you always start with two in the first stitch, one, two, three, and three is on its own, four is on its own, and five is on its own. Since we've hit the multiple of five, that means the next stitch has two stitches in it, so six, seven, eight on its own, nine on its own, 10 on its own. Continue this until you've got 30 stitches and meet me back. So I've done my 30 and I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch and we're gonna chain up one. Now we're gonna work in multiples of six with a because we're on our sixth round. So two in the first stitch, one, two, three is on its own, four is on its own, five is on its own, and six is on its own. So we've reached a multiple of six, so now we're gonna do two in the next one seven and eight go together, nine is on its own, 10 is on its own, 11 is on its own, 12 is on its own. And that's a multiple of six. So we're gonna do two in the next one and we're just gonna repeat all the way around. You're gonna end up with 36 stitches. Do that, meet me back. So I've got to 36. I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. Make my loop big. Cut my yarn. Pull my yarn through that loop. Okay, and at this point you'd wanna hide your um, threads. I had a knot here, so um, yeah, we're gonna hide all our threads. And then we're gonna make another one, but when you get to the end of the other one, I do not want you to cut your yarn. Do not, nay, nay, nay. Do not cut the yarn. So make another one, hide the threads on this one, and meet me back. So I'm back and I have done the 36, I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take the back that I told you to hide the threads for. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these two together. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna chain up two, one, two. And this is the one that our working yarn is still on. Going into the back stitch, so you're not going into both like you would normally. We're only going into the back loop on that one and through the whole thing of the other one, we're gonna do a double crochet. So you need yarn over first. That's why I came back. So yarn over, 
into the back loop only and through the whole thing on the other side, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. So yarn over, back loop only, and then through the whole stitch, pull through, yarn over, go through all three loops. Let's do it again. Yarn over, back loop only, whole stitch, pull through, yarn over, through all three stitches. Now what it's giving us is this ridge and that's gonna make it so that your dice bag sits flat. So I want you to do this all the way around. You're just putting one half double crochet in each stitch around so you'll have 36 at the end. Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've counted around and I'm at my 36th stitch. We are not counting that chain two, by the way. So what we're gonna do instead of slip stitching is we now are gonna start working in a spiral. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go yarn over and into that first stitch. And we're just gonna do another um, half double crochet, okay? And this time we're going through the whole stitch and we're just going to continue this until we have 12 rounds. So you're probably thinking to yourself, hey, how do I know that? Especially if you're a new crocheter. And here's the thing. It's harder to tell with the variegated, but on this side of my crochet hook, I have one, two rounds. And on this side of my crochet hook, I only have one round of the half double crochet. So we want to do 12 rounds total of half double crochet on both sides of our hook. So you know that if in this situation, on both sides of our hook, this is only one and this side has two. So we would keep going until we had 12 on both sides of our hook. Do that and meet me back. Okay, so I have my 12 rows, so I'm going to show you how I count. So this is my working yarn. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rows on this side of my working yarn. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rows on this side of my working yarn. So now what we're going to do is you are going to slip stitch into that next stitch. And you're probably wondering, why would I do a slip stitch? And all this does is it evens out your row, okay? Now we're going to chain up four. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip one stitch and do a double crochet into the next. So a double crochet is yarn over your hook into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. We're going to chain one more, we're going to skip one, and we're going to do another double crochet. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. So this is where we're going to feed through our gather strings for our bag. So chain one, yarn over into the stitch because we're skipping one. Go through two loops, go through two loops. I want you to do this all the way around and then meet me back. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. So now in the third chain, not the fourth, but the third chain from hook, I want you to go in and do your slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain up two because we're going back to half double crochets. So you're gonna go yarn over into the space, pull through, half double crochet. Yarn over into the stitch. Pull through, go through all three stitches. Yarn over into the space. You're going to do this all the way around and then meet me back. So I've gone all the way around. 
So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go into that very first stitch like we did before when we were spiraling and we're just going to continue with our half double crochets. This was not a slip stitch. It was just another half double crochet. You're going to do another round of this. So you have a total of two rounds of the upper part on each side of your crochet hook. Do that and meet me back. Okay, I have two rounds on either side of my crochet hook and then just like we did before, we're gonna slip stitch here. We are gonna cut our yarn, put our tail through our loop. Now I want you to make two ties or two chains worth of 70 chains, okay? So I want you to make two ties that have 70 chains. Do that, meet me back. Oh, and hide this thread. Oh, and also, <laughs> if you haven't had a chance, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. It helps me grow my channel. And if this has been at all helpful to you, I'd really appreciate you doing that for me, okay? We'll scratch each other's backs, so to speak. So hide the thread two ties of 70 chains each. Do that, meet me back. Okay, so I've got my two ties here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a front. And I'm just gonna go to one of the sides and just start weaving through my tie. I'm gonna go all the way around pretty easy here okay and then we're gonna take the two ends We are going to tie them. And I want to end up just past the crocheting, but tied up against it. So you see how I'm manipulating my knot here so that it's right where I want it. Okay. There we go. That's where I want it. Pull tight. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a little bit, maybe half an inch there and give it a trim. Okay. So now going to this, so we've got this on this side. You want to even those up. So that means we're coming out here. So we're going to take our other tie. So we're coming out here, we're going across, we're going to go weave it in and out, same holes, just pick above or below. I'm going above. And we're just going to go through here. See what we're doing? Okay. So I'm coming out, going in, going out, and I'm going from the top. There we go. Just keep going, just keep going. Just like Dory, just keep swimming. We're gonna just keep weaving. So we're almost there. Go through there. Go through here. And there we are. Just like last time, we're going to put our ends together. We're going to do one of these kind of knots. And make sure that 
to get where we want those knots to end, just past the crocheting. See? See how I did that? Okay, so we're going to pull tight, pull tight, and then we're going to give it a trim about half an inch. And there you go, guys. Our drawstring ba dice bag is all done. There you go. Isn't it great? I love it. So like I said before, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. It helps me grow my business. And leave in the comments where you're watching from. It always amazes me how far of a reach YouTube has. So have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye now.